Storms could be coming as people are still cleaning up from this weekend's severe weather. Here's the latest for you now. The National Weather Service has confirmed tonight that an F1 tornado did touch down near Perry. That's in Shiawassee County. Tonight, about 7,000 people are still without power because of those storms. DTE hopes to restore all electricity later tonight and into the morning. Action News reporter Tom Waite is in Stockbridge tonight in Ingham County, one of the hardest hit areas. A home shattered, trees ripped out of the ground and snapped like twigs. The storm that hit Kane in Stockbridge made short work of everything in its path. We were up north and got a call from my daughter and this is what it's about. Neighbors here happy for the calm after the storm. We helped the neighbors next door and we've been helping them and it's, it's a great feeling knowing that everybody's safe and everybody can work together. But the people here may not be out of the woods yet. More storms could be headed our way Tuesday night. We're kind of just hoping that things will go a little bit smoother this time and we won't have such high winds and rains. Neighbors spent their Memorial Day helping each other, moving debris, clearing the road, and making repairs. And while there's been progress, some buildings may be a total loss. The owner of this barn tells us this is the first time since the barn was built in the 19th century that it's seen this kind of damage. A huge wind hit it and blew a big section out into this field. Beyond the homes and buildings taken down, power lines were also victims of high winds. DTE crews scattered throughout Fowlerville and Stockbridge trying to get the lights back on. Craziness. Yeah. Craziness. We appreciate everybody's help. In Stockbridge, Tom Waite, Channel 7 Action News.